Developing tonight, they're the stories we don't often report. But first responders say the number of people wanting to end their lives on bridges is growing. Two Orcs for you reporter Lorraine Callender shows us how a city response team is using their special skills to save people. Lorraine. When first responders typically rush to a scene, they arrive in separate vehicles. But this truck carries three different professionals, a police officer, a paramedic, and a therapist, all riding together to help people who may be going through a mental health crisis. It's a different kind of response team. To stand in, in the rain like today for two to three hours and convince somebody that today's not the day, uh, it takes an emotional toll. But for Corporal Brandon Disney, this is personal. And my own father was uh, bipolar, schizophrenic, diagnosed, and battled with that for a long time. He's a part of the Tulsa Community Response Team, created in February of 2018, a collaboration of professionals from the Tulsa Police and Fire Department and a therapist riding together, responding to people in a mental health crisis. They see someone that's not not just a, a bunch of officers, you know, so um, a lot of times people are pretty receptive to us. Corporal Disney was called with CRT back in October to the BA Expressway at Peoria, where a woman wanted to end her life. You're not in trouble. We're not going to jail. I need you in this fire truck and get you off the bridge and out of people's minds. Nobody's going to be looking to film you in a fire truck and we'll just get you out of here. And she's looking and considering and ultimately stepped down. In less than a year, CRT responded to nearly 600 calls, 40% of them suicidal cases, and not once was a life lost. Because, you know, we are following up and making sure that they are connected to the, the right resources and get that help that they need. So it's not just a short term kind of fix whenever CRT shows up. A one stop shop for emergency care, working together to let people know that ending their life isn't the answer and to keep someone from hurting themselves or others. There's that's that's a baseline need. I mean, you're talking about preservation of life. The Tulsa Area United Way provided more than $106,000 in funding for the CRT to operate twice a week, but they're looking to expand their hours, so they're always looking for new opportunities for funding. Reporting live in downtown Tulsa, Lauren Callender, two works for you.